Hey guys, Tarantula Sam here, and I have a really awesome video for you this evening. Um, what I'm going to be doing in this video is showing you how to make this super awesome um, do-it-yourself arboreal tarantula enclosure. Um, I think this looks great. It was very inexpensive. Um, I know a lot of people house their arboreals in like Rubbermaid jars and, and things like that, and they just look just really just poorly put together in my opinion uh, it's not nearly as uh, as good as something like this to display your tarantula in um, I you know the uh, complaint about buying nice displays is they're expensive but this cost me a total of about five dollars and fifty cents to put together and then a little bit of my time to make it um, so what this is made out of is this uh, crystal clear display case sticker price on this is seven ninety nine I got it from Hobby Lobby they run coupon sales all the time, so I got this uh, with a coupon uh, and got it for about $5.50. The uh, dimensions on this are 9 inches in height by 4.38 inches by 4.13 inches on the base. Um, so this will be perfect size for an uh, arboreal that's a juvenile or sub-adult in size, I would say. Um, so let me uh, jump right in and go ahead and show you the pictures I took throughout the build process and explain to you guys um, the uh, steps that I took to, to make this. Okay guys, so um, what I did to build this was I first took the lid off and I measured about two and a half inches up from one end and I drew a line across with a um, washable marker. I then cut across that line. I started with a hacksaw just very, very slowly so not to crack the acrylic. I actually ended up cheating using a cutting wheel on my Dremel to finish off just to make the cut a little bit faster. Um, what you do after you have it cut is you use a very fine grit sandpaper to sand off the burrs where you cut. Um, the, the slower you go and the straighter you make the cut, the better it's going to end up looking. Uh, and you won't have any cracks. Um, once you have it cut, you take the smaller piece you cut off the lid and you glue it in the enclosure where, where the bottom of your enclosure will be. I used a Scotch um, repair glue. Uh, it's a pretty uh, strong bond. Um, some of you might know a better glue to use for gluing acrylic, but that's what I used. Um, what I did next was I took the uh, larger section which will end up my door of my enclosure and I placed that in directly above the bottom portion and I measured out about halfway along the top um, and I drew a dot on the uh, on the lid just right on the lip uh, on the lip of the lid I drilled through a hole right where that was marked and I then placed it back in the enclosure and I poked uh, the marker through that hole that I drilled and marked on the uh, actual enclosure where I would drill a second hole so it would line up. Um, very carefully I drilled that second hole. you got to be very careful with this one since it's so close to the edge you don't want to crack it. Um, I drilled through and uh, they lined up great. Um, then all I needed to do was uh, come up with a uh, some sort of lip at the uh, on the bottom uh, of the enclosure for the lid to, to slide slide into and what I did for that lip is I actually used uh, an acrylic uh, a mirror mount that I had used from a pre previous project if you don't have one of these or something else you can use that would look nice as a to, to add a little lip to the front of your uh, container uh, you can go pick these up at the hardware store uh, usually they have drawers full of these for really cheap um, or maybe you'll think of something better to use so anyways, once I had that uh, the back cut off of that piece uh, and it sanded down and, eat, and level, I glued it on with the same re Scotch repair glue um, to the center uh, of the front of the enclosure. Um, once that was finished, uh, I, all I had to do was uh, drill vents in the side. So I drilled vents in the side. I wanted a circular pattern. Uh, um, again, drill slowly if you don't want uh, cracks in the acrylic. Uh, I then sanded the burrs off of those holes, um, especially from the inside. You don't want anything sharp on the inside with your tarantula. Um, and then once I had that finished, all I had to do was come up with a pin that would go in the top of the uh, um, hole that I drilled in the top of the enclosure to drop in and lock the door. 
um, what I ended up using was a uh, little plastic uh, pin that I had from a uh, furniture project uh, that just came in one of those do-it-yourself uh, set of drawers you buy from a big box store um, that I had left over. Um, so that is what I did to build it. Uh, now let me show you how it works. Okay guys, so here is the finished product. Um, so how this works is to open it, you take the little pin out. I, again, like I said, just used a little plastic uh, pin uh, that I got from uh, a drawer building project, um, from one of those do-it-yourself uh, just drawer builds. Um, so this is just a piece from that left over. Um, what you could also use that I was going to use first until I thought of that piece that I had, is I just cut off the bottom of an aluminum nail, same shape also works just drop it in locks it so it's pretty secure um, the door won't open when the tarantula pushes on it as you can see I can lift it upside down it doesn't fall out I can shake it um, so the way it opens is you take out the pin you slide the door out like that and then just pull it up so the way that it works is it catches on this uh, little lip that I glued on here out of that mirror mount um, you could probably glue a number of things on there. I thought the acrylic with the acrylic just looked nice, so that's what I used. Um, so to get back on, I just stick the, the lid in, slide it down, it'll catch on that lip, and then closes. Once it's closed, I stick the pin in the hole to lock it, so the tarantula can't push it out. Um, I think it looks great. I think that uh, it's an easy project that uh, most of you guys could, could do fairly easily. Um, as you can see, the acrylic's very clear, um, so it makes a great display case for, for your tarantula. Um, I ordered a, an Avicularia Versicolor. Uh, it is still a sling, so it'll be too small to, to live in something like this for starters, but once it grows into a juvenile uh, and a sub-adult, I'll be moving it into this container. And once it's an adult, I'll be buying a bigger display case for it uh, and building something very similar to this. They have um, bigger options uh, at the store for a little bit more money. So I'll be doing something very similar. Um, so what I'll do in, in here, as you can see, this lip at the bottom uh, stops the uh, um, substrate from coming out. Um, so I'll put my substrate in here, cocoa fiber probably with a little vermiculite in it. Uh, then I'll have a piece of... Uh, uh, cork bark and maybe some silk leaves in a water dish so I think it'll look great um, and I hope this was uh, helpful for any of you trying to put something together and didn't want to just put your tarantula in a jar or one of those uh, Rubbermaid things that don't don't look so great so anyways uh, if uh, these type of videos uh, interest you guys I invite you to subscribe to my channel and uh, thank you for watching my video